Darkness falls, silence pervades the night. Suddenly, a flash of light pierces the sky. It's the 12th of August, a typical summer evening in a small town nestled between vast expanses of farmland. The air is thick with the scent of freshly harvested wheat, and the occasional hoot of an owl is the only break in the tranquil silence. Without warning, the tranquility is shattered. A streak of light, brighter than any star, sears across the sky, leaving a trail of brilliant luminosity in its wake. Residents peer out from their windows, curiosity piqued by this unexpected celestial display. The night, once a canvas of obsidian dotted with distant stars, now vibrates with an alien energy. The time is precisely 11.17 p.m. The location, an unassuming town that has just become the epicenter of something far beyond the realm of the ordinary. The atmosphere, once calm and serene, is now charged with a sense of unease and wonder. The calm night is now a stage for an inexplicable spectacle. As the clock ticks, the enigma unravels. Let's dive into the chronology of this peculiar encounter. It began on a night as ordinary as any other. The calmness of the evening was abruptly shattered when a strange object was spotted in the sky. It was unlike any aircraft known to man, its form, its movements, its very existence, defying our understanding of aviation and physics. The first sighting was reported by a local resident returning home after a long day. Blinking in disbelief, they watched the unidentified flying object dart across the night sky. Its movements were erratic, zigzagging with an agility and speed that seemed impossible for any man-made aircraft. Word quickly spread and soon, more eyes were glued to the spectacle unfolding above. The reactions of the witnesses were a mix of awe, fear, and bewilderment. Some stood frozen, their eyes wide and mouths agape. Others rushed to capture the event on their phones, their hands trembling with excitement or fear, or perhaps both. As the crowd below swelled, the UFO continued its dance in the sky. It emitted a pulsating light that bathed the ground below in an eerie glow. It was as if the object was putting on a performance, aware of the audience it had gathered. But then, a peculiar thing happened. The object, which had been so active, suddenly halted in midair. It hung motionless for a moment that felt like an eternity. The crowd below held its breath, waiting, watching. And then, in a blink of an eye, the UFO shot upwards and disappeared into the night sky. The witnesses were left with nothing but the afterimage of the pulsating light and a sense of bewildered awe. The UFO, this inexplicable visitor, had vanished as suddenly and mysteriously as it had appeared. In a whirlwind of events, the inexplicable visitor vanishes as mysteriously as it appeared. And so the enigma deepens. But this is only the beginning of our journey into the heart of the mystery. A voices tremble, eyes widen, the witnesses recount their tale. The night of the incident was like any other until the unexpected happened. The stories we've gathered are as varied as they are intriguing. Some speak of a blinding light descending from the cosmos, others of an eerie silence that enveloped the town. The air was thick with uncertainty, and the only certainty was that something extraordinary had occurred. Let's delve into the experiences of these individuals. John, a local farmer, was out late tending to his crops when he saw it. His voice shook as he described the object in the sky. He said it was unlike anything he had ever seen, a craft of sorts, not of this world. His eyes still held the fear and awe of that night. On the other side of town, Mary, a schoolteacher, had a different tale to tell. She spoke of a humming noise that seemed to vibrate through her very being. It wasn't the sight of the object that scared her, but the sound. It was a sound she said she could feel rather than hear. Despite their different experiences, there were common threads woven through their stories. All talked about an intense light, a feeling of unease and a strange calm that followed the incident. Even though their accounts varied, the emotions were strikingly similar. Fear, awe, and a sense of wonder. Yet there were inconsistencies too. Some spoke of multiple objects, others of just one. Some claim to have lost time while others remember each second as if it were etched in stone. These discrepancies do not discredit their stories, rather they add layers to this baffling event. But we must remember, human memory is fallible. It bends and warps under the weight of fear and uncertainty. It's shaped by our perceptions and emotions. These accounts, as compelling as they are, are subjective interpretations of a shared experience. Each story is a piece of the puzzle, Yet the picture remains incomplete. The dawn brings scrutiny. The search for answers begins. As daylight broke, the quest for truth commenced. The authorities, armed with a mandate for clarity, 
began to delve into the heart of this enigma. The primary investigators were a mix of local law enforcement, federal agents, and even a handful of scientists, each bringing their unique perspective and expertise to the table. Their initial findings were as puzzling as the incident itself. The site of the alleged landing was marked by distinct, unexplainable imprints. Soil samples revealed an unusual concentration of elements not native to the area. The physical evidence seemed to point to something extraordinary, yet other than these anomalies, there were no definitive traces of extraterrestrial presence. But the investigation was not without its challenges. The eyewitness accounts, while compelling, were also inconsistent. Some spoke of a bright light, others of a strange hum, while a few even claimed to have seen beings of an unknown origin. These contradictions only deepened the mystery, making it difficult for the investigators to piece together a coherent narrative. Moreover, the investigators had to grapple with the clamor of public curiosity and rampant speculation. In the wake of the incident, the town had become a magnet for UFO enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists from around the globe. Balancing the need for transparency with the desire to prevent panic became a delicate task. Throughout their rigorous examination, the investigators remained steadfast in their pursuit of the truth. They combed through every piece of evidence, questioned every witness, and analyzed every theory. Yet, the more they dug, the more elusive the truth seemed to become. The investigation, intended to shed light on the incident, instead seemed to cast a longer shadow over it. The evidence was ambiguous, the eyewitness accounts contradictory, and the theories, though numerous, were mostly speculative. It was as if the incident, much like the unidentified flying object itself, wanted to remain a mystery. The investigation uncovers more questions than answers. In the absence of answers, speculations thrive. The UFO incident has given birth to a plethora of theories, each more fascinating than the last. It's a tale where science and speculation intertwine, where fact and fiction blur. As we delve into the labyrinth of conjecture, it's important to remember one thing. None of these theories have been definitively proven or disproven. They are simply attempts to make sense of the inexplicable, to find answers where none are readily available. Let's start with the scientific explanations. Some believe the UFO sighting was nothing more than a trick of the light, a mere optical illusion. Others suggest it could have been an experimental aircraft, unacknowledged by government bodies for reasons of national security. A more outlandish scientific theory posits that the UFO could have been a time-traveling device, a glimpse into our own future, or perhaps our distant past. Then, of course, there are the conspiracy theories. Some argue that the UFO sighting was a deliberate hoax, a bid for attention or a ploy to distract from other issues. Others believe it was evidence of extraterrestrial life, a sign that we are not alone in the universe. The most controversial of these theories suggests that the government is aware of this extraterrestrial presence and is actively covering it up. Between these extremes, we find theories that blend elements of both science and conspiracy. Perhaps the UFO was a weather balloon or a drone, misidentified due to human error or technological malfunction. Maybe it was a natural phenomenon, like ball lightning or a meteor, misinterpreted as something more. These theories, as varied and intriguing as they are, all share one common trait. They attempt to provide an explanation, a narrative that makes sense of the enigmatic UFO incident. But as we sift through these speculations, we must remember that none of them are definitive. The truth remains elusive, lost in a sea of theories. The incident fades into history, but the mystery lingers on. The UFO encounter, with its compelling chronology and numerous eyewitness accounts, has become an indelible part of our shared narrative. It's a tale that has echoed through the years, igniting intrigue in the minds of the curious and the skeptical alike. The impact on the local community was profound, transforming an ordinary place into an extraordinary landmark in the annals of ufology. It was here that the known and the unknown collided in an event that continues to inspire debate and speculation. Beyond the local sphere, the incident has left an enduring footprint on popular culture. Movies have been made, books have been written, and countless theories have been spun around this singular event, all in an attempt to decipher the undecipherable. The UFO incident, an enigma that continues to captivate, a riddle that remains unsolved.